the second coming of Christ we are talking about here. This is not a question. I got the idea while recording the previous video about Wayne Dyer because many people are waiting for someone to come and save them. Now, there will be such a thing as Christ coming back, but it's not exactly like that. You see, we all have the Christ consciousness inside of us. You do not have to be a Christian to have the Christ consciousness. It's simply a consciousness. So the second coming is not going to be Jesus coming back. It's going to be we, many of us, maybe not every last one, but many of us will find the Christ consciousness within and we will start expressing it. And this is the second coming. So don't expect Jesus to come back. That's not going to happen. By the way, I use this picture because why do we keep painting Jesus as a North European? He was a Palestinian Jew for God's sakes. He was not a Swedish pop star. And why do we cover him with blankets? Do you know how hot it is in the Middle East? But of course, we put a lot of fabric there because it's easy on the eye. It makes us feel warm. And this way, we can convince the little ones to love Jesus. This is advertisement. Anyway, back to the second coming. Stop waiting for Jesus. But you can easily access Christ consciousness. Simply ask for it. And it will happen little by little. Now, you might be surprised to find out that Christ consciousness is not about love. It's about common sense. But because many of us do not have common sense and because we are so needy, the common sense phrases that either Jesus or his apostles wrote later we call them love. Let the one that is without sin cast the first stone. There's no love in this. This is common sense. It's like, what are you trying to do? Trying to kill someone who did something you do not like. Have you never done something other people do not like? It's pure common sense. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Why do you call this love? It's common sense. Don't treat others the way you do not want to be treated. I'll say it slowly just in case you get it. Common sense, people common sense. Stop using that retarded word love all the time and grow the fuck up. It is embarrassing at this day and age you are talking as if you are four years old. A retarded four year old. Love, oh love, Jesus was nothing but love. That's right, Jesus was nothing about love. He was trying to bring in some logic, some common sense. So if you would like to reach this energy, it's inside you. See, simply keep saying, I am ready to access Christ consciousness. But make sure you're ready. Because you might not be ready for common sense. You might not be ready for intelligence.
and stop following stop following oh I follow Jesus yes because you do not like yourself so you have to follow someone else try following yourself and see how this feels and see how powerful you become after you follow yourself my favorite phrase from what we think Jesus said because I'm sure a lot of the things that Jesus took credit for were written by his apostles this one if you bring forth what is within you you will be saved if you do not bring forth what is within you you will be destroyed again nothing to do with love common sense express yourself express the real you not the you that others want and this way you will be saved from this vortex we call earth reality find you it is so easy and because the veil on earth is becoming thinner and thinner now it is very easy at this time of our history to find ourselves and then after you find you start liking yourself and then start expressing yourself your survival does not depend on other people anymore like it used to when we lived in the jungle or in the caves now it depends on your inner strength and on you expressing your talents many people always ask I want to know what my talents are whatever you like doing become good at it and this will become your talent don't try and tick the box my talent is this and my talent is that I'll give you a little example do you really think that Madonna is talented she's not but she likes herself and this is what made her the goddess that she is so don't look for your talents start liking yourself unapologetically and if you want Christ to come back go inside and find the Christ consciousness within I will leave it at this